is my name on the street. Well, he actually so Taking this very question to the street, what do you have to say about the speech ban? Or your body, your Jimadi, Pen TV. I feel um, passing of such bill, it's um, practically it shows the fact that our lawmakers are, are jobless. One. Then, secondly, they really don't know what actually is the problem of the country. Somebody talking on Twitter or on Facebook is not actually contributing to the hatred in Nigeria. An average Yoruba man does not hate an average Aosa man and things like that. An average Christian does not have a problem with an average Muslim. The core issues in Nigeria is poverty and illiteracy. And if you want to curb hate speech in that sense, give people what to eat, let them have means of livelihood, then um, get people educated. Things like that reduce drastically. So I feel um, passing such bill into law is a sign of joblessness and not really knowing what is wrong with Nigeria as a country. The way the government is going, I don't think we have freedom of expression anymore because the way they are carrying out, the way they do their things, uh -huh. we don't, very soon they will stop. This one that they stopped Mara and and get and motorcycles. It's very hard for us, to, some people, to go to work early in the morning. Sometimes we can get to work late. So I don't think for Nigerians, I don't think we have that. Well, in some cases, I believe we do. But with the way the Senate, uh, with the whole bill of everything like that, it's not hundred percent. Okay. So some, well, they are trying to oppress the masses with um, the, the uh, bill of rights about uh, freedom of speech. But I believe uh, this will get better, Sha. One, they have packed Marwa, they have packed uh, Okada, they have packed Boss, but everything is everything everything is is cost. Like now, you know, they're supposed to be carrying 15 and now they are turning to 300. 250, which is not supposed to be school. So where is this Nigeria? Where is it going to? Where is it going to? Even I say everything, everything is cost. They should please help us to reduce it. At least let them let them reduce it so that we say that we can be able to avoid the money to buy it. Everything is cost. This is not supposed to be so. Not all Nigerians actually have freedom of speech. You can't say anything you want to say anywhere. Yeah, because of you might get penalized. Yeah, we don't we don't we we the, the law is actually it's actually in the law. Freedom of well, I'm not sure we have it because most of the laws uh, we have, most of the rights we have, we are not given as Nigerians to to portray or to <laughs> actually use it. I believe so. We still have the freedom of speech in Nigeria uh, because people are even at the, are even at the, as at the point that the president uh, uh, introduced the hate speech, uh, people are still having freedom over speech bound meaning people can also say what they want to say on their own uh, even undermining the 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 affecting as factors to the other persons you see so people see have a complete freedom on how they use their speech they don't want to know whether it's affecting the other person or not so i believe they see have the freedom to speak whatever they want to speak on your mind. Yeah, if I have to say, we have our freedom of speech, but the kind of government that we operate in now is the issue that we have here in Nigeria because they only think about themselves, not about the masses. They only enact the law that is going to favor them, not about the individuals and the masses that are ruling. So we are like experiencing a kind of anarchy of government in Nigeria. You know, the government is not favoring the citizen, but rather it is favoring the people that are within the environment of power. So that's just the problem that we are facing right now, if I have to say, from my own worldly point of view. Yeah, when I, I heard about this stuff, like we in Nigeria, we, we need to have our own freedom. You understand? We don't have to, you know, based on what the government are saying. Everybody have his or our own rights. You understand? So that is it. 
they don't just have to you know bring a, a, a bill just like that you understand so that is only what i have to say but every each and everyone have his own rights in this country so the government cannot just decide on anything on themselves for me i don't think it's right for them to ban it because why would somebody be able to speak up his mind when he's maybe when he's president or when he's um, not happy about the country situation for example so for banding it is not the right thing to be done for now we have a lot of challenges that we could face not just um banning hate speech look at the flying hate men you know disturbing the the region up region of the nigeria like the southeastern region the, the south south even the southwest the um, president is not saying anything, anything about it so if you look into all those parts or the aspect of um the um, problem happening to nigeria instead of going to this hate speech band for now i would just say it's not possible because why would you want to take our voice away from us it's not really it doesn't make sense we have to actually it's not it's not the government can just feel that the only thing that we can use against them which is our freedom of speech they don't want to deny us of that right that is just so unfair it's, it's uncalled for that means they just want to take over they just want to tell us what to do do what they want to do and they don't want to care about our opinions and that's wrong i would say freedom of speech in nigeria has become something of old. People are not allowed to talk again in Nigeria. When you talk, when you when you show your discretion about what particular thing, even 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 let me just um, start from the office. Let me not go to general now. In your office, maybe your boss is doing something that you are not pleased with, or is doing something that um, you think is not it shouldn't be done that way. You can't even talk because if you talk. You are going to be dealt with separately. So, and that thing has gone wide to society in large, at large. You can't talk. Everybody has to, to keep quiet. And one thing, one thing, what is going on in Nigeria now that, we, that they call hate speech? Hate speech. They call it hate speech. When people talk, when people show what, uh, what, uh, when, when people show their interest in government, and they will be telling us that be involved. Don't, don't stay back. It is your right to vote. It is your right to do this. It is your right to do that. Is it not our right to talk? It shouldn't be like that. People that we are copying all over the world, the ones that teach us, that teach us how to run an economy like this, they have freedom, um, freedom of speech. When they are not okay with a particular statement, they say it out. They speak out. So voice should not be something that should be kept quiet. Because if people are allowed to talk, during the, the the talk of people, you can easily get what you need to do to direct the government properly. That is better way of leading. You look at people's interests because you are not leading yourself. You are leading people. So when you are not looking at their interests, when you are not, not looking at their own point of view, so it's very important. It's very important. So we need to allow people to show what they think say it say it let them say it people people are allowed to advise people are allowed to talk people are allowed to show their discretion people are allowed to pour out their heart people are allowed to show what is inside of them free of charge but no it's not like that anymore and which is very bad which is very 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 bad you finally heard what a speech what the public has to say about the speech ban what I think about a speech ban is that you let the public have their say, hear what they have to say. Do not forget to like and subscribe to Pen TV. Oyebade Ejimade, Pen TV.